We spent countless hours trying to get every part of the design right. From doing test boards to get the LEDs perfect, from the development boards to the actual product, it was an endless process of iteration. The most difficult task was turning 2D artwork into a 3D product. Much of our design inspiration was driven by our love for the automobile industry. Some of our favorite cars give an impression of modernism and speed while stationary, but their infinite curves and soft edges create an elegance and design that stands the test of time. We 3D printed some remote designs to see how they felt. After narrowing down to our favorite designs, we turned to CAD. Building in CAD grounds us back to reality. The size of the USB connector cannot change. AAA batteries are universally the same size. The board our remote was built on needed to be a certain size and the buttons needed to have enough room to get that clicky tactile feedback that feels great when surfing on the couch. This forced us back to the drawing board a few times and began perhaps the longest process of all. From March 2020 to December 2020, we iterated design, CAD work, and redesigned. We came up with a clever approach for 3D printing that allowed us to interchange the center buttons to experiment with different shapes, curves, and button heights. By the end of it all, we knew we had something special. The buttons were laid out perfectly, every item inside the case fit, and so we moved on to experimenting with colors and materials. Some of these color choices are genuinely beautiful to look at, but for our first remote, we needed something that everybody could appreciate. And that brings us to this, the fully built Skip 1S. Beautiful. Our LED design was a six month process of trial and error. For our imaginary vision to come to fruition, we had a number of challenges to overcome. Generally, remotes can't have top side components. So our first thought was to put the LEDs reverse mount or underneath the PCB. So we designed a solution using optics and light to carefully bounce the light in a meticulously designed lens using the index of refraction. We found a tech shop that could fabricate our design to spec with absolutely stunning results. Unfortunately, they were stunningly wrong. So we went back to the drawing board again after a lot of research, we finally found an LED that was 0.6 millimeters in height and can fit under our keypad without obstructing button presses, opening up a new realm of possible design opportunities, including a thin light guide film. Light guide film allows you to shine a light into the side of a glass-like surface and with carefully designed perforations, reflect light perpendicular up to the surface. A quick prototype and a proof of concept later, we had a winner. 